what planets can we be a moon of? Uh, I have like every planet here and let's just jump in quick with the smallest planet, Mercury. And we really can't be a moon of Mercury because it would become a moon of us because when we try to orbit it, it instead would orbit us or do something like this, which looks pretty cool. And we can try to do the same thing for Mars. We can try to make Earth orbit Mars, but it will end up orbiting us or crashing into the planet again. It looks cool though. I like when it crashes into the planet. It makes a big blob. How would you survive that? Venus is when it gets more interesting. The planet has enough mass where we can actually binary orbit each other pretty easily. Unfortunately, if we're too close to each other, we will like stretch and pull. But I mean, we could binary orbit Venus and technically it's a moon. So that's a yes. When we get to bigger planets like Uranus, we can actually orbit them depending on the distance. Like here, we mostly have no trouble orbiting, except we get stretched a little bit. For Saturn, we actually could, but if we're too close, we would have to worry about the rings. And since we're such a big planet, it would probably do something like this. Which looks cool, but for us, it would be deadly. And then there's Jupiter, and this is really what I was talking about earlier, where it depends on the distance. For big planets like this, if you're far enough, you will have really no trouble orbiting the planet and being a moon, like the Earth here. But it's when you get too close to the planet that we have issues being a moon. It's something called the Roche Limit, and when an orbital planet gets too close to another, they actually get torn apart and form rings. And it looks cool, except this would be devastating on the planet. How would you survive this? This is like crazy. We get totally turned into rings. Let's just watch this for a second. <laughs> 